Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive Virgo, and I'm feeling very sunny today, okay? I wonder if you're feeling the same way, even though it's raining, okay? I feel like some Virgos have been um, randomly, like, you randomly cry sometimes, and I think, you know, th that's okay. You de you've dealt with a lot of shit, so sometimes your emotions can be all over the place, and try to recalibrate in a, in a new setting, and... You just kind of have to teach yourself that you're safe, you're safe, you're safe, you're safe. Okay, I don't know where the hell that came from. That's only for a few Virgos. Yeah, that was the three of swords I wanted to come out. So it's some past pain, okay? But spirit, I don't want to talk about that unless we have to, but I'd rather talk about new stuff coming in, okay? Making things right this time around with justice, okay? So yeah, Virg, I feel like you want to balance something. You want to make something balanced. Something was imbalanced. It could have been your emotions for a little bit. Okay, definitely could have been your emotions for a little bit, your mental. But you, you back on top, okay? As per usual, let's be very fucking clear. All right, now, Bert. Yeah, overcoming, as usual. Feisty, fighting back, as usual. So that's nothing. 111 on a time and no biggie. All right, let's pull Virgo's energy toward their person. You in these dreams, baby, about this person. This is crazy, Bert. This is nice though, this is nice so far, okay. Yeah, energy toward your person. Wow. Your overall energy. Okay, so you are feeling sunny. Okay, you are feeling sunny. So there's two Virgos. Some, you know, dealing with some things, others are in a really good spirit, okay. But Virg, your energy to your person is a seven of cups. So they leave you a little confused, okay. You could also be having dreams about them. Um, they are everything you imagine your partner could and would be and more. You're kind of still like that honeymoon phase. You're kind of, you still see that person through those eyes, okay? You're still kind of super infatuated with the person. That infatuation stage has not worn off yet, okay? So it makes me feel like you guys aren't um, too too long in a commitment, okay? But you're feeling full of love for your person, Virgo, okay? I think you, if you could, you would definitely bring in stability for this person and or marry this person with the emperor here, okay? You definitely felt, I think, rejected by this person or you felt like you were trying to give them your cup and they weren't taking it. And that will kind of put you in your head and confuse you. Like, wait a minute, like, why aren't you taking my cup? Like, I'm trying to offer you something here. You, you, you know who I am? Fuck. And then we have the Six of Cups. So it's just like, you. this is something definitely in the past, okay? Something that happened in your past energy and you felt rejected. It took a very long time for this to even start to work. I feel like it started to pick up speed, okay? Started to, but then you end up here by yourself when the Queen of Pentacles. It was really going somewhere at one point, Vir, with the Three of Pentacles. It was working at one point, okay? Six of Wands. You guys could have gone out together. People might have even seen you together a few times, okay? Or it was just starting to really take off and develop. And you thought, okay, I can do this. Like, we had a little discrepancy, but now we're in a better place. You also have a lot of... I was going to say a lot of options, Virgo, but I know how you are. So I'm going to say you could exercise options if you wanted to. They, they that's just what it is you know you have the king here you have emperor here you have a knight here and this is your energy toward your person but i'm also reading this as what options you have because the seven of cups is your first card out where like you have whatever you got you got a lot of it okay <laughs> and i feel like i'm taking that as a good thing all right but ultimately you're ending up focused on yourself like you don't you don't have no problem saying, you know what, this ain't working for me. I'm going I'm to go ahead up now. I feel like I'm talking to a no-nonsense Virgo. Your threshold is like this big for the bullshit. It really is so, it's so small now, Virgo. The bullshit, you won't let it. You won't let it touch you like you used to let it touch you before. Yeah, you cut that shit off with the quickness, okay? King of Swords energy needs to come out. <laughs> Needs to come out of the deck. Okay. Now let's get the mutual energy for Virgo. Oh, there's this is the mutual energy, love. That's what spirit. <laughs> oh god. You could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius or an air sign. Virgo. Not the page of swords for you guys' mutual overall energy. So y'all both looking, looking, looking. Okay, so you guys could definitely be going on each other pages or looking at stories, reacting. 
you might think that this person has you blocked, Bird, but they could be looking at you from a private page or you to them. Okay, that may only go for a few of you guys, but you're still watching each other. Okay, you guys want to talk to each other for sure, but the facade that you guys have, the face y'all are putting on is something serious because it's so fake. Okay, you guys are, are, are see that like love is seething from your pores for this person. Although I don't see it right here, but it's just like, why are you doing all this? And you feel like this, Bird, because you're not... You're not feeling like this, even though you're looking like it, okay? And the most beautiful thing about this whole thing, Bird, is that you guys both see this connection as very healing. Some people, some readers even look at this as a second chance card. I have judgment for that. Um, but you guys see this connection as healing. Whatever this person has, you don't, and whatever you don't have, that person does. Okay, so it's a very complimentary connection. I feel like you guys know that there's no kind of, I'm just going to say like, there's no, nobody's fucking with you with the Virgo and nobody's fucking with your person as far as your options. And as far as their options, I mean, I have not even pulled for them yet, but you know, I'm not going to speak too soon on your person, <laughs> but what y'all do have in common, you guys are both friends and as clear as day and you're watching each other and you're all up on the Instagram. Okay, checking friend story, checking even friend stories, bird, or your person is checking your friend story to see what the fuck you got going. <laughs> spirit, yo, spirit, I can't. <clears throat> Lord, all right. So the nine of pentacles. This is you coming out in your person's energy. You could also be dealing with another Virgo, all right, or an Earth sign. But Virg, I'm dead because the Nine of Pentacles literally came out and you're in their energy and they can't keep thinking about the fact that you're single and you're abundant. Okay, that's just like, that's just what is taking over their mind. And I think they fear that if they don't act, it's quiet for them. It's quiet, okay? Keep, that's what, you know who the fuck I am? Okay, didn't I say that earlier? Do you know who the fuck I am? Okay, you, this is not something... That's going to be around all the time. When somebody sees something of value, you must take it. You must have on the opportunity. You don't wait the fuck around. Okay. Give me this person's energy toward the Virgo spirit. Let me just calibrate to the energies first. But you came out first in your energy, Virg. So <laughs> whatever you're doing, I feel like it's doing numbers on them. Oh, this is, okay. Wow, Virgo. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> How, yeah. Virgo, was your bottom of the deck energy not the sun? You guys are similar. I feel like I've been having and picking up on the same storyline between you and your person. Wow. Okay, Virg. So, just give me one second because there's so many different messages I'm getting here. Um... Period, point blank, this person sees themselves having victory with you at some point. Period. They just do. Okay? They see you guys meeting together, a meeting of the minds. I feel like you guys have a very mental connection as well. Not just sexual, not just physical. And like I said, like with this mutual energy with you guys, how you feel like you guys have the ability to heal the other. This kind of clarifies that for me because soulmates bring in peace of mind. So this person might even be more aware of the calming presence that you bring than, than you are of theirs. Like what I'm trying to say is that they're super in tune with you on a soul level or in the 5D. Okay, do you, Virgo, do you dream a lot about this person or do you think about this person at a certain time? Okay, because if you do, those are always telltale signs of having an energetic bond with this person. Okay, we have victory here. They see you as victorious. They see you as someone that they can move forward with. They see you as someone that they don't mind even like making sacrifices for. That's how you know when somebody really loves you. Like, are you going to make sacrifices for me? And this person is like, yeah. Okay, that's the energy I'm getting. They'll even wait. Even if it causes them stress, they'll wait. Because like they're only, they're literally, the two, this two of pentacles, the way it's sitting, Virg, it's like they're teetering between Okay, well, if it's going to be a lot for me, if this is going to be some sort of burden, okay, I could fix that. Or if I just have to sit and wait for her or wait for him, I can do that too. Like, those are the only two options. You are the only two options. <laughs> you are the only two options.
for this person did do you have two options virgo or did this person but i feel like this person is literally looking at you as their only option but there's two ways to deal with you if that makes sense okay i feel like they see you as abundant again with this nine of pentacles energy but also someone that they feel if they invest in you if i invest my time 10 10 on the time i'm always seeing 10 10 if i invest in you or if the person invests in this connection will there be a return and they said yeah, and they think yes like it will be a solid ass investment to deal with virgo financially okay physically mentally emotionally you're healing this person is like this person is thinking in all ways like okay can i get peace of mind emotionally yes i can okay are there some hurdles yes there might be you might live away from this person there might have been some time that went past or there was some shit that happened that was kind of a burden that has to be cleared out before that. But this person has deliberated that and said, yes, I will remove that. Yes, I will wait. Yes, Virgo is worth investing in. Yes, I want this new beginning with Virgo. And yes, Virgo, they are very sexually attracted to you if you ever had any questions about that. Because I don't think with this energy, like, if this is what they've been showing you, Virgo, I don't think you know much about how they feel about you but they feel very sexually attracted to you okay you also have the three of cups here so i feel like they want to celebrate with you very they haven't got a chance to really hang out be lighthearted, have fun do something new do something different that's not something that they got to do with you, Virg. And I feel like that's what they're waiting to come into. And I don't think you see this, Virg, because you're sitting, you're always sitting, Virg. <laughs> you're always, you're always in your energy. Like that, that's one thing about you. You always gonna be sitting in your motherfucking energy. And I'm not mad at it. But you you're sitting the Queen of Pentacles and your back is turned to this. Again, it just turned to it. And if you look up, Virgo, you're not even gonna see this. What you're gonna see is their successes. Because that's the only thing you focus on right now is changing and becoming the best version of yourself, taking stepping into your leadership role. If you haven't checked out the reading from yesterday, um, I think that that details this really well, what you're focusing on, but nobody could take you off focus, okay? Not even this person. Damn okay all right so let's get a little bit in the storyline all right virgo so you're single and your person is too okay um but i want to see like what is this what was this past rejection that i feel like you might have felt okay what is this four of cups energy for Virgo? Mm. yeah Virg, you felt like you guys were so close at a certain point this is like my proximity card so close to making something work so close to like like i was saying like it was working a little bit just a little bit but it was working and then it stopped working okay what what caused that spirit oh wow okay this person could have ghosted you and you have so many feelings for this person you were willing to let it take the take time virgo you you didn't okay you felt like your feelings could potentially overwhelm this person you knew how much how deeply you felt right so what you did was be strategic about it. You say, you know what? I'm not going to lay it on too much. I'm just going to like keep it to myself, even though this person knows I do care about them, but I don't want to, I don't want to rush them. I don't want to make them feel no type of way. But you, but Virg, like, I feel like you guys started working on it and things were getting good. And that person ghosted you and you put your head right back down into your work. It didn't even phase you at this point. Look at the, look at the bottom of the deck. Boss up. It, it cannot, Virgo, you cannot be phased. You just can't like the energetic field that you have that you have cultivated around you is something serious. The spiritual protection you have is something serious. You have been through some shit, Virgo, but you are so victorious. And I don't <clears throat> I'm getting much message saying stop identifying with the worst of your past. You are not the worst of your past. You don't have to forget it, but you can redefine it in a way that makes you feel better about yourself. You're an, you're the magician. You're an alchemist. You can literally turn shit into wine, literally, Virgo. So turn that into wine and say, instead of, in my past, I had shit. Talk about how much wine you had in your past. That's what spirit is telling you. Reinvent your story. So that way, when you do finally look up from, from focusing on yourself and being all in your... I'm feeling like I'm tapping into like a bad bitchness or like a, a man who is just so tap into his energy his divine masculinity or even same sex couples like you are just doing you and it looks so good on you but yeah this person ghosted you or hurt you so that was what that was in your pre-shuffle with the three of swords because it wasn't making sense but now it is okay i got this thank you spirit can we get some clarification for their mutual energy okay because i feel like both of you guys are are really keeping a poker face okay nobody wants to admit 
I got the word admit. So there's something that needs to be said. You guys might be in a place where you're ready to talk about it because I feel like you guys want this healing. The healing is becoming more important now than who's right and who's wrong or who hit who first. Okay, who contacted who first? Okay, so let's put this mutual energy spirit. What is this mutual energy for Virgo and Virgo's person? <laughs> okay, let's get one more. Thank you. Oh, okay. So first of all, at the bottom deck, we had to take your time. So again, that's feeling like emphasizing that you were trying to take your time and not laying on too thick for this person. Okay. Um, but for your mutual energy, this is interesting. We got committed. Okay. Virgo, Virgo. The way you and your person putting on right now is crazy. And I think you and your person are the only one believing this shit. Okay. Because really it's like that you, you have commitment on your mind and you guys both want to talk about it. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Commitment is very much on the mind. And it's like, if you heal this, we have the haters card here. You guys always have people in your fucking business. Can you, who are these people? And why do they always come out? I don't like that shit, right? I hate and I cannot stand nosy ass people. Why isn't your life interesting enough to where you can focus on your shit? Why are you coming up in the reading? Hey, it is what it is. When you a Virgo, you attract it all, I guess. But you got the haters on you, and so did your, so did your. I was gonna say so did your husband, but so did your person. Virgo could be your husband or someone that you know you were with, an ex husband perhaps. But um, people are hating on the fact that you got this person's for you, and you're for this person, and how much healing is going on between this connection. Okay, I feel like I'm speaking about potential. If you guys were to get together and work through that, there's a lot of healing that would take place in you and in your person. And people hate that shit. Okay, your person also, you or your person also knows how much of a big deal it will be for you guys to publicly step out and show that you guys are in union. So that's another reason why you're like, okay, I don't mind if we take our time. We need to be a little bit slow paced with this anyway. Okay, urgent message flipped over. Somebody's always wanting to talk to Virgo. It just does not fail. What is this, public on the bottom of the deck? Didn't I just say some shit about coming out for the fucking world to see? All right, Virgo, so I want to do a little clarification for your person's energy. So we already see it's Virgo. It's Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, so these cards should tell us a little bit more about the situation. Okay, so what's this nine of pentacles? I'm seeing you as very independent, seeing you as a soulmate, seeing you as a person who could bring them peace of mind. Okay, I'm seeing hotel in my muse. They might, this person might not live close to you, so if you guys do hang out, it might have to be in a hotel, a nice little private setting. I see this person bring you to a private setting, like, to do private things, okay? But um, the person is seeing you as their muse, Virgo, and they want to take action toward you. Seeing you as a muse is like seeing you literally as a sculpture, as a... Not just, a, not just a human, but like an ethereal being. Something that is like, not from here. Not from here. Like, you know when you look at the sunset or a rainbow or the moon and you feel like you're just looking, you're in awe. That, like, that's how this person feels about you. Victorious. Like, they know they can move forward with you. They, they'd be happy to have you on their arm, okay? So I feel like they want this victory, but there's some, there's like some shit that they got to work through. Okay, some shit that they got to work through. Okay, you could be getting a new car, Virg. Okay, or this person could get could be getting a new car or have like a fancy car, something like that. That's just a side note for some of you guys. Um, yeah, Virg. So what is this spirit with this person with the Ten of Wands and feeling like they kind of have to teeter between do I work through all these issues or do I keep waiting? Like that's what your person I feel like is thinking about right now. And you could also be dealing with the Aries. So what is this person's energy with that spirit? That flipped over. <laughs> I'm coming. So Virgo, that's one thing. Okay, in the car. Okay, so they could, this person could literally be trying to pull up on you or you this person. But if that's not the situation, if it's not like a live thing, because sometimes these are very, these are live. But if it's not, this person wants you to know, like, regardless, I'm coming. That's why I'm saying is you, is that one option is you, the other option is you. Is it just about how I work around to getting to you is the thing. Am I going to wait on you or we got to work through this shit first? This person doesn't like to talk about problems. Okay, I'm sure because they fucking caused it. But you could be dealing with a Leo. This person is single, bird. This person does not have a person. Okay, they have some toxic shit going on in the past. They don't want no part of that. They are not like that. Like, this person does not take delight in having a toxic-ass 
uh, significant other. They don't want that. Okay, but they want to tell you they're coming and they will wait. All right, they see you as investing worthy. Okay, that they want to invest in this. Oh my God. Do you see how this, this card just did me? So you have this cancer following you for a minute. All right, you really could be dealing with a cancer. And this person has a lot of feelings for you and you for them as well. Okay, bottom of the deck, happy. You guys literally have the sun on both bottom of the decks now. Okay. So we can't not make light of the how you smile from ear to ear. I'm, I feel like some Virgos just like whiten their teeth or um, getting some dental work done. Um, you have a really nice smile, by the way. Okay. You might be scared to get dental work, but, I, but you'll be fine. They're going to use anesthesia. But um, Virg, this person wants to invest in you. Okay. And have these new beginnings and celebration. That's what I'm seeing. Let us know a little bit more. Spirit. What else does this person want with Virg? What are their intentions? Listen, Virg, like Virgo. Okay, so I keep getting, I keep getting that they're single. So please stop thinking that this person has a person because they don't. All right. Now, this is the third card you had talking about happiness. You had happy for this person, this person had happy for you, and you guys literally both have that for each. This is like, this is beautiful how happy you guys make each other. And I'm, okay, I'm getting back to the setting. Okay, something could be happening at night. Yeah, I could be chilling at night. Ooh, I got another message, Virg. Um, could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? But um, let's get one more card. The Virgo, like this person is, yeah, I'm going to take this to the extended Virgo because I got to start talking my shit. Thank you guys so much for watching.